lost media. Media that is believed to be forgotten or no longer exists in any format. <gasps> Gasp! It could be a song, movie, TV show, you name it. Um, so excuse me, M Miss Dash, what happens to lost media? D does it stay lost forever? Well, Billy, sometimes lost media stays in the dark void of nothingness forever. But some lost media has been found. And that's what I'm here to talk about today, folks. Lost media that has been found. And there have been some pretty interesting ones. On to the first piece of lost media. In 2014, a posting was listed to eBay that many fans of the rock band Kiss found very, very interesting. The listing was a lost song that had been found in a barn. Yeah, you heard that right. In 1971, Ace Fra- how the frick do you pronounce this man's name? Okay, it's Fraley. That's- that's- that's his name. It's Fraley. I don't know. I'm not a Kiss fan. I'm sorry. But in 1971, Ace Fraley, the band's guitarist, recorded a song for RCA, and unfortunately, the demo was lost. No one could find it, RCA didn't have the demo anymore, and it was deemed as lost media. Womp womp. People were upset, but in 2014, a man by the name of Chris Reisman was digging through this barn full of records in upstate New York. This barn was owned by a vinyl and cassette collector who had 10,000 up to 20,000 records in the barn. So, wowza. People in the neighborhood knew the man collected records and stuff, so they just started giving a whole bunch of stuff to him. Hence why the barn became so freaking full. But anyways, Chris got a few tapes from the barn and shared them with his buddy. And his buddy was like, um, these are all pretty unexciting, but there's something I need to tell you. And then the buddy called Chris up and this was his exact words to Chris, according to Chris. He said two of three were interesting, but not great. But the other one, after a lot of cross-reference, was the acetate that the Kiss community had been talking about for 30 freaking years. I mean, that's pretty good find, freaking in a barn. I I have no words. On to the next piece of lost media. So there was this show on PBS called Super Why, and it was about this little superhero guy with a ginormous head who would teach kids about grammar and spelling and all that jazz with his other superhero friends. Well, as it turns out, the pilot for this show had become lost media. No way. The pilot went into production in 1999, then it stopped. And a few years later, it went back into production in 2004 in 2005. And when it was completed, it was then pitched to PBS. The show aired on PBS in 2007, but the pilot was never shown. And no one talked about it. <sighs> Until 2021. In May of 2021, a tape was listed on the McMaster's University's library website. That was a mouthful. A user known as PDog64 did a little bit of digging and discovered that the tape was only the audio from the Super Y pilot. So whop. Womp. Fast forward to January 2nd, 2023, a slideshow titled Next Generation Kids, PBS Kids, was found on SlidePlayer. And like, can we just acknowledge the huge jump in styles that Super Y had? I mean, they both had big heads and all, but this is like a totally different show. Anyways, another time jump to June 12th, 2023. The pilot had been found. The pilot had been found by the YouTubers, Old Washington resident, and Melody, who contacted the Annecy Film Festival, which had the pilot. And the rest is history. And for real, like the show and the pilot is so different. And not gonna lie, I love the style of stop motion for the pilot, but uh, I was a little bit freaked out. Maybe it's just the music, I don't know. Now, Super Y only had a lost pilot episode. Could you imagine finding a whole series? That's like impossible. Bah! Billy, I forgot you were there, and, and no, it's not impossible, actually. In 1995, a show called Beethoven, the animated series, aired on CBS. And this show was based off of the live-action Beethoven movie with the adorable doggo. The show was short and only had 26 10-minute episodes, and it was taken off the air in 1995. And it became lost media. Until a YouTuber by the name of Coffee Dog uploaded all of the episodes except for one. Dang, Coffee Dog coming in clutch. Unfortunately, in 2019, all of the episodes that they uploaded were taken down due to copyright reasons. And they became lost again. Until, well, un until now, because they're now all available to watch, including the lost episode, so. Happy ending. So there was a short film called Attack of the Giant Vulture that aired on Nickelodeon a couple of times in the late 90s and early 2000s. Um, apparently the short film featured a giant vulture chasing a bunch of children. That's a little scary. It sounds like a, like a fever dream, not gonna lie. In 2013, the Paley Center of Media was said to have this compilation from Nickelodeon of a bunch of shorts that they released, including Attack of the Giant Vulture. A screening actually took place after this discovery and a VHS tape was uploaded to myspleen.org 
Park by a user known as Snowpeck. So thank you, Snowpeck. Now we can all have fever dreams about a giant vulture chasing us. No, but the film is super cool. <laughs> I think that's gonna be it for today. Let me know what you all think in the comment section down below. What is your favorite piece of lost media that has been found? Let me know, I'm curious. If you have any other ones you want me to cover, let me know in the comment section down below. And of course, if you just have recommendations for content in general. Anyways, I had a blast making this video. This was super interesting to look into and I can't wait to look into more lost media because I am having so much fun with this. As always, thank you all so much for watching. I will see you on the next one. Peace out, Brussels sprouts.